Oh, thank you so much for that rousing welcome. And for that all say. I find it's usually about this point in the show that you, you really crave some of that distinct New Zealand style comedy. <laughs> so what an overwhelming relief it must have been to realise that I'm here. <laughs> I don't know whose job it was to make sure the J is straight, but you, you've got to imagine they're fired. <laughs> I was, uh, I was recently looking for a job myself. Not that, you know, this isn't going okay. <laughs> but it's important to keep your options open. I was looking in a newspaper, because, you know, they're still doing, I think it's good they're still doing newspapers. Isn't it? It's a good business model. Why don't we cut down a tree and print yesterday's weather in Moscow? Yeah. <laughs> They're still doing job listings, and their old-timey job listings too. One of the listings uh, included, <laughs> incredibly, included the sentence at the end of it, it said, time wasters need not apply. <laughs> Which, if I was to ever be in a situation where I listed a job, one of the last sentences you would see me including would be the sentence, time wasters need not apply. Yeah, because you've got to think, surely any time waster worth their salt is going to take that bait. <laughs> you look at this from their perspective, they're coming through a newspaper thinking, oh, just my luck. No one for me to specifically antagonise. Oh, no, hold on. <laughs> What's this? I oh, know, it's all part of growing up, isn't it? You look for a job, you get a job, it's all... Fucking soul destroying. <laughs> it's not like, yeah, I, I didn't expect to be an adult, but I, you know, I am now. And I do find it's very similar to being a child, being adult, an adult, only uh, you, you've got le less prospects. <laughs> I think the point of deline delineation, when you, when, when you start shifting, it's around that same age, it's around puberty, really, but it's not for the reasons you think. I think the first shift towards adulthood. It's around 11 or 12, when you, for me it was at least, when you start realising that other people's lives keep on going when you're not in them. You know, that <laughs> the, 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 the world is bigger than what is happening immediately in front of you. And, uh, you know, everyone has that moment. Like, I would imagine everyone in this room remembers that the first time they saw a teacher in a public space. <laughs> Just how jarring that is, you know? Like in a supermarket, and you go, <laughs> what? <laughs> no. No, absolutely not. No. Look. If you're hungry, I'll bring you a sandwich. But this is where the people shop, okay? It's fucking disgusting what you're doing. <laughs> And so in 11 or 12, that's the same age, you know, when you, when you stop calling it play, when you stop asking your friends over to play. You, you list the activity you're going to do. And anyone in the room, you know, who's got kids or nieces or nephews, I'd encourage you to, to, to let them keep calling it play for as long as they can. Because once you change out the language, you can't go back. As an adult, you can't ask, you can't ask someone over to play. <laughs> yeah, you've got to build this whole ornate artifice around the... You know, you've got to... You know, you've got to say, you've got to an art gallery or something... Terrible like that. When, when, all you, when all you really want to do is have a couple of your mates over and run around in the backyard until you're puffed. That's it. That's all you want to do. You want to see who the fastest is. You're obsessed. Well, I remember, so I was, for, when I was five, yeah, I went to one of those schools as well that, you know, I, that was all uniform from five to 18, my whole school and career. I was in a little, Uniform. At the age of, one of the first things I remember learning to do at five was how to tie a tie. That seems important, don't you think? I think that seems important that a five-year-old boy knows how to do a tie. Who is that costume for? What are you doing toddling your kid? You know, I went to school with little black shoes, pull up socks that went just under my knees, and then I put on some garters, even though my legs could hold the socks up <laughs> all by themselves. <laughs> Who's that flourish for? You know, who are these high-end pedophiles? <laughs> I shouldn't say that. that. That joke does always make any pedophiles in the room seriously uncomfortable. <laughs> it's time you know that we know. <laughs> you know the, whole, the whole 
whole thing, you know, little shorts, a pressed white shirt, the tie, a jacket, little five-year-old boy in a suit. What are you doing putting a five-year-old boy in a suit? What is anyone doing in a suit? What are you doing putting a teenage boy in a suit? What are, you, what are, what are, what are men doing in What is a suit? Why are we wearing a suit? What is a suit? What is a suit? Why? What do we get out of it? It's just false status, you know, that we continue to abide it. Just imbue someone who's otherwise mediocre with an unearned sense of entitlement. Like the only real value we are still extracting from suits is sometimes, if you're lucky, what you will see is a full-grown man in a suit just hoofing it at top speed. <laughs> yeah, and that's a delight, because what that means is something has gone pretty seriously wrong in their day. <laughs> They can't deal with that from themselves. They've got to get out there. <laughs> it's juvenile, I know, but I, like I say, I, I, I'm still obsessed with. I just like knowing how fast people are, how fast things can go. I love speed. I love amphetamines. And, <laughs> and you guys seem like a pretty intelligent bunch. So I was recently researching the fastest man who ever lived, Usain Bolt. The fastest a person has ever gone on foot, Usain Bolt, the Jamaican sprinter. And I was looking up how fast he can run at top speed. And I'd like to, to, to throw the question to you guys. Would any of you like to hazard a guess in kilometres per hour as to how quickly Usain Bolt can run at top speed in kilometres per hour? What did you say? 35. No, that's, it's not a bad guess, but it's too slow. I, I imagine I can still hit 35 at a clip. Does anyone know any numbers higher than uh, 35? <laughs> oh, it's 60? Oh, I had, oh, you've had your guess. I'm, I'm very sorry. I didn't make the rules clear, but you had your goddamn turn. I had 60. No, 60 is it's a, it's a generous estimate. So the thing with Usain Bolt is he is still a person. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been in a car at 60? You know? Can you imagine at 60 k just some person sidling up next to you? No, yeah, no, that seems about right. Six, yeah. No, there's no planet. Does anyone know any numbers between 35 and 60? 40, 47. You, uh, you, uh, you, 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 this is a good guess. You've taken all the fun out of the game at 47. Way to go. Uh, it, <laughs> the actual number is 44.72 kilometres per hour. Which for a... Yeah, you can say that. Well, for, which for a person, you know, it's not 60. But it's, uh, it's still pretty quick. Like, for a person, 44.72. If you think about it, say, so 44.72 kilometres per hour. That is so fast that between the hours of 8am and 9.30am and 2.30pm and 4pm, it would be illegal for you saying both to run past an Australian school. <laughs> All I'm saying is, you know, th that's a shame. Because I, I reckon the kids would get a real kick out of that. Thank you so much everybody, I'm Donald Dobrik.